We are here in uh, Chester, Massachusetts today, just outside the JFK Library, right on the bay, uh, facing out into Boston Harbor. So uh, we decided to go to Fields Corner in Dorchester and we picked up some Vietnamese food today. We're going to have an assortment of different types of banh mi as well as uh, some dessert items. So uh, let's get started. They do it a little bit more of a skinny version at this place. I believe the name of this place is Ba Pui. I could be pronouncing it slightly wrong, but <laughs> we'll give it a go. So I believe this one here, this looks like it is a shredded barbecue chicken on a nice um, grilled French baguette. They actually warm theirs up for a bit before they hand it to you. So let's go ahead and try this now and give it a good bite. Mmm, this is really good. The chicken is really tender and well seasoned. The bread is nice and crisp and nice and soft on the inside. It's pretty good. It's very peppery, very well flavored. Um, I like this. I'm going to go in for another bite here. Mm. This, I believe, is the uh, barbecue pork. So let's go ahead and get a bite of this. Same thing. Toasted bun, meat, light sauce, not many condiments on there at all. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Mm. Only difference I would say is in the flavor of the meat. That's chicken, this is pork. Pork has that extra savory, fatty, nami goodness that you get when you get some pork, especially when it's roasted. So this place definitely not getting any complaints from me at all. It's a great seat on the So these are extra thin, skinny little baguettes. I don't know if you can see how thin these are. And they don't have the traditional uh, banh mi filling. It's just a little smear of pate and then uh, grilled uh, chicken. So let me get a taste of that. Mmm. You definitely get the mineral, irony texture. Uh, of the pate. I think it's a pork pate. Uh, the chicken is, it's shredded, but it has a little sweetness. But what really stands out is the bread. The bread itself is really what you're eating this for. Mm -hmm. It's it's crispy on the outside. You can hear that little crunchiness to it. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with my food. I'm not gonna eat that. Not piece. gonna eat that. This one is the barbecue pork. Uh, looks like Chinese cha shu, which I believe the Vietnamese word is similar. It's cha shu. Uh, even has that little red ring around the outside. Uh, and then again, a smear of pate. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. You definitely get the Chinese uh, five spice. Again, that metallic kind of taste from the pate, but then the super crispy bread. And it's so light too. Um, I could probably eat three of these little skinny sandwiches without even getting full. Yeah, these are these great. are really light. Yeah. Mm. All right, we have our bon bao here with this cool, funky green color here. Hopefully it doesn't taste as funky as the color looks, but let's go ahead and cut this baby open and give it a try. Well, look at that. That looks to be like there's some boiled egg, maybe some rice, some pork in there, some vegetables. I love boiled eggs and I love when boiled eggs are stuffed in things, so let's see how this is. <laughs> there's a lot going on right now in my mouth. Ooh, a lot. Boiled egg. Pork bomb. Seems like it's like a minced pork with um, veggies. Kind of on the sweet side, but savory. Uh, not bad at all. Very unexpected treat. Looks like ground pork. Maybe it's also got a little bit of mushroom chopped up in it. Give it a taste. I don't know what gives it the green color at all. I don't know <laughs> if it's food coloring or if it's pandan or something yeah. like that. Because I know a lot of Southeast Asian uh, Country's pandan is pretty popular yep. uh, dessert. Mm. It's like um, the same filling taste like a uh, shomai mm -hmm. when you have a uh, dim sum. Mm -hmm. That's what that that meat, uh, the ground meat filling tastes like. Mm. I like it. That boy under the radar. Check it out. long time establishment down in Fields Corner, and they only sell one thing, and that's banh mi. Bon they bake the bread in-house. You just walk in, you tell them which one you want, they slap it together in just a couple minutes and hand it to you in this little wax paper bag, <laughs> and you're out the door. And this is what we call a more traditional, traditional banh mi. So, we have this giant French bread, Crispy outer crust, soft, tender, flaky inside. Wow, that's tender. Look at that bright red barbecue pork, as well as some fresh, healthy vegetables, as Randy would say. <laughs> Cilantro, daikon, carrots, and then a smear of pate, some mushroom, maybe a little onion in there. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait for this. All right, here we go. Mm. Ooh. You can tell that's crisp with all just like the crackling mm -hmm. just falling apart. No. <laughs> this is not a sandwich you eat in your car. D definitely not. This is something you gotta lean over. Lean. Let all the crumbs fall mm -hmm. where they go because when you bite into a real banh mi, the crust just shatters. Yes. And these little flakes fall all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, not meant to travel. Stand still when you're eating one of these. Yep. Lean slightly at the waist, <laughs> saves your back. <laughs> I love this sandwich. And yeah. this here is a specialty. This is the sardine banh mi. So if you look here, we get some nice sardines. Ooh, that even looks like I got some jalapeno peppers in there. Of course, we have the traditional pate, some onions, carrots, cilantro. So let's go ahead and give this guy a bite here. Ah, oh, this is going to be good. Mmm. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fishy? No. Mm -mm. It's like a spiced tuna salad. It's delicious. Mmm. This is this is really good. This is better than expected. Mm. I like this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just wanted to add one more thing. The Bep Bui sandwich was, it was small, thin, really tasty, quick bite, meant as a snack. But this guy, big sandwich. I've only eaten maybe a third of it. It's filling me up. This is a meal in a sandwich. So depending on what you're feeling like, chow bakery, that'll fill you up. All right, so we moved on to Sweet Sips. This is another Vietnamese bakery, but they also do ice cream and uh, fun other items. So let's go ahead and see what we tried. I really, really have wanted to try ube rolled ice cream. And that's what we have here. So we have the uh, ube rolled ice cream here. You can see that nice, beautiful purplish color. Got some coconut flakes in there. Let's see lychee jelly, chocolate sauce, and hockey. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Mm. This is actually pretty good. The ube ice cream was really nice. The ube is essentially a type of uh, like a yam or a sweet potato or root vegetable. So. There's a earthiness to the flavor along with some sweetness. I really enjoy. It's a nice little fun addition. You like textures. Mm. <laughs> now we have the mango nada. This is something I really, really, really want to try. So what it is, it's mango, tamarind, chili flakes in there, chili salt, and they also give us this chili uh, tamarind stick. I like that a lot. <laughs> so in addition to it being like a mango smoothie, they also add fresh mango right on the top here, along with um, some extra chili and tamarind, so. Mm. I love sweet and savory. I love sweet and salty. I love spicy and salty. This to me is everything that I love. Some great banh mi sandwiches from Chow Bakery and Bep Bui, as well as the Bao, which was a real surprise from Bep Bui. And then some of those great little desserts from Sweet Sip, the rolled uh, ube ice cream and the mangolada. Mangonada. Mangonada. <laughs> so, check it out. That's really cold. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing out here. <laughs> Ice cream is making it extra cold. <laughs>